James, it's always lovely to come to Telford. It's a fantastic showroom you've got here. But what I'm quite interested in, you've got a, a multi-sensor CMM behind us. Um, now, I haven't seen one of these for a, a long, long time. You've, it's very, very trick with a, a number of comp components on it. And I understand it can be very bespoke to every customer's needs. But can you tell me a little bit about the actual machine itself? Okay, yeah, so this is, um, well, the product line is, is Optive. Uh, we've got a range of 11 machines in the, in the product group, in the family. This is sits just above the middle sort of size. Um, and this one that we're looking at here has got um, a unique feature of ours that is uh, purely a, a hexagon uh, product, which is the dual Z system. So on this, this machine here, we've got um, independent Z axis for the, for the camera or the optical system sensors but also the tactile sensors as well. So we can mitigate uh, collision risks. Uh, we can also, it can speed up the, the cycle time as well when, when you're running a program. Now, would you say that this machine is for companies that are actually producing sort of critical parts, maybe need surface finish analyzing, that type of thing? It can be used for that, certainly, yeah. Um, the machine, again, that we see here has uh, got a chromatic white light sensor on it which whilst it will scan a surface and give us a, a surface roughness or surface finish uh, result, there's actually no standard to tie that into, um, but it, it will do it and we can create colour maps and, and, and everything else to, to demonstrate that. Now, if, if I have got a critical part and, and I've got a CMM, why would I be looking for something like a multi-sensor CMM? What, what are the advantages? Well, the advantages of a multi-sensor CMM uh, primarily really is that there is no detriment to the, to the machine's accuracy. Sure, we can put a camera on a CMM, uh, but we are going to lose some accuracy. Uh, we're also going to need a bigger volume, a bigger area because of the standoffs with the camera. With a multi-sensor system such as this, uh, there is no detriment to the accuracy. Um, the, the standoff distance is much lower and it, it's got more features, it, it's more, more versatile. And when you look at the type of uh, materials that you can actually um, um, set sense on it effectively uh, and actually measure, wh what type of those uh, limitations is there on materials? There aren't really an, any limitations. Um, certainly with the chromatic white light sensor we mentioned earlier, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a, a highly reflective, shiny part, uh, whether it's a dull part, uh, that can certainly collect uh, the information from it and measure the, measure the features. Uh, with the camera as well, we've got multi-capture technology in there, so anything that's in the field of view can be caught instantly. And then of course we've got the, the tactile probe as well that can be used to, to maybe look in blind holes or somewhere where the optical system couldn't reach. And finally, um, what type of companies would this appeal to and, be, and would they benefit from? Really, every, every company that, that, that we deal with um, on, on the CMMs you know, could benefit from this sort of system, Got you know, ranging from aerospace right through to your medical and your electronics. I mean, those are particular areas where, where the product line such as this is strong in, um, where we're looking at very small features, um, at products that really we don't want to touch on, and we're wanting to collect that data very quickly. And this machine obviously is at Telford, uh, you may have them in some of your other facilities, but I presume they're here for demos for any engineers that may want to actually look at uh, some of the equipment that you've got, especially on the multi-sensor CMM. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So we have the system here, there's well a number of the si these systems in this showroom here in Telford. Uh, we've also got one in our Silverstone Park facility, and we've got reference sites as well throughout the UK. That, uh, well, and obviously the, the factory in Sarveligen in Germany, which is where the machines are made. Uh, we can always take customers over there if they want to see some of the real high, high cutting edge reference machines that, that really need to be installed in a, in a lab. Great, thanks James. You're welcome, cheers.